YouTube, it is TechCog. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing uh, the config handler that I made a while ago, see one month ago. I haven't really talked about it publicly much, but I think it is really cool and uh, very simple to use. So I'll have the uh, link in the description to the, uh, the where you can get it. I'll have the uh, load string actually. Um, so let me just get the actual raw link and then go into uh, game show how to use it so get config and, uh, load string it so that's it right there it's a simple uh, load string to config handler it's called config handler but it really is a function called git config so what you can do is you can do local config equals git config and you can supply a path in here now this path can be just any path that you you know want inside of your workspace folder and so you can use this to create as many folders and files as you want so I could do like um, main script slash master slash config slash config one slash uh, config Lua and even if none of these folders exist it'll create each and every one of them and it'll create the file which is by default with write file so that's something that's really cool so you see, if I do print old and then config dot value one and then old to config dot value two and then I can do config dot value one equals map dot random times ten and then we'll do this like that, but the first one. So this what this does is it gets our config through git config and then it supplies the path and then it prints out the old value of config.value1 so this is a table right here I think it's a user data actually um, but it doesn't matter uh, and then it'll get the old 2 which is just value 2 and then what it'll do is it'll set them so if I shrink this a little bit back to normal size and I go to the console you see if I execute this it does take a second to load um, I don't know why it's so slow but yeah um, see nil nil, but that's probably because it was creating the file. See, I didn't show. Let me let me show you now. If I go to my synapse workspace, you see main script master configs config one config Lua. But what happens if this doesn't exist? This folder doesn't exist. Well, you see, whenever I execute, it'll go ahead and it'll create each every individual folder. All right, now what happens if I execute again? You see, it'll take a minute, but it'll actually get the values. If I execute this a bunch of times, you'll see that it changes and it saves from script to script. So if I go ahead and copy this and I print config.value1 and then config.value2, see, boom, same as what it just set to. Oh, well, you can't see it because um, those are old values on the new ones. But see, that's what it is. That's how it works. Very, very simple to use. I will have the um, the load string in the description. But uh, I'll go ahead and explain a little bit how it works. So it does use a load file, which can probably be a security risk for some people because anyone can inject code into this that will be ran. Um, so be be wary of that if you do use this make sure to um, secure it. I don't have any security on it at the moment I very well easily could have a, uh, have security into this um, but just just be be wary that this does use load file um, because what it does is it writes to return and then it turns the config into a string so it'll be like return a equal or like value one equals and then like that or whatever so that's how it does work so you need to be cautious of that if you're using it because you know games can hook this and then allow you like so the scripts not games but other scripts can hook this and run whatever code they want um, through that so shouldn't be too much of a problem if you're just you know using this for your average scripts but just uh yeah be careful Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next one.